and welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day for today thursday the 15th of december mike smith senior analyst at gold markets to lead you around what's happening today after what was a busy night of course the fed released its interest rate decision as expected came in at 0.5 percent to the upside however the language was more hawkish than expected in terms of a projection for future policy direction suggesting no pause in interest rate rises possibly throughout next year as well that was not what the market expected and so subsequent to jerome powell's press conference the s p 500 ended 0.6 percent to the downside we've also got a busy data day today uh, which may be influencing market sentiment a little u.s futures ha are however mildly positive in early asian action uh, asian indices are following that slightly weaker u.s lead the asx is down around 0.5 percent and this was despite some softer inflation data that came out European equity futures are suggesting a cautious open later also. The US dollar index, surprisingly, on the back of that Fed decision, actually dropped and we saw it consolidating that breach of support from the previous day. Slightly lower again this morning, a gold paused and held above 1800 and all edged higher again. Copper pauses below that key 390 level overnight, which we've referenced throughout the week. And the VIX dropped despite the equity weakness. So a very mixed picture, very, very unusually against uh, some of those relationships aren't as they usually are. And we'll expect a recalibration of everything over the next 24 hours or so, I would say, perhaps after that data comes out. In the crypto space, Bitcoin technically rejected a move higher, but we've got that Australian CPI expectation softer than predicted. But jobs data also out. Also this morning, we've got Chinese retail and industrial production data. And later on this afternoon, we've got interest rate decisions out of the UK and Switzerland, which are going to affect local currencies, of course. And then we've got European policy statement. And tonight we've got US jobs, retail sales and manufacturing numbers. So lots for the market to digest. It'll be interesting to see how everything settles down by this time tomorrow. Let's look at a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. And it's worthwhile looking at the euro usd you can see that move higher through this key level at 105.75 pushing up to 106 in terms of context if we just pop it on the weekly chart there you can see this really reflects where we would expect it to pause and only is 106 a key level but also we look back here and we see that on the weekly chart back in april it was around this 107 level so that's the target for today potentially on the shorter time frame you can see it's actually not doing very much today in asia so far at all on the asx we are re-looking at gem this was a chart of the day from a couple of days ago and you can see it's done very well since then we had this big push up through the 200 ma a massive jump and we've got consolidation of that today pushing up over 110 if we just look at this in terms of where it might go from here uh, if this buying pressure continues, certainly a move up to around about 114, 115 is on the cards. That's about another 3% from where we are now. But we have actually got a medium term price target on this of around about 117, which is worth keeping eye. We just think it might pause around 115 on the way up. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.